Clear Tech Tuesday. That's right. It's that time again. I'm Jerry Bolda with Clear Controls. Welcome to another Clear Tech Tuesday. Today, I am proud to announce the release of our new uh, improved Clear Vision Plus app. Uh, there's been a bunch of different improvements, enhancements to it, and let's take a dive in and see what this thing's all about. Uh, I'm going to pull up the phone on this other screen here so we can actually see instead of me just reading out some of these bulleted points. Uh, but there are some enhancements to viewing your cameras, if whether they're standalone cameras or whether they're attached to an NVR. A uh, lot of cool things that, that I want to show you. So let's pop this thing open and get started. So, uh, of course, this is available on the, uh, the Android uh, Google Play Store or the App Store for iOS devices. So make sure you update this as soon as possible. Um, as you can see, I've got a couple different cameras here. There's a standalone. There's a couple different NVRs. Um, first thing I want to show you, uh, when you go to add a camera, just like before, you click the plus button. This now gives you a couple different choices. Scanning the QR code, you can manually add. The reason the manual add is there, if you have clear vision, the old clear vision cameras that they're, I call legacy cameras, you still need to add them manually. It'll ask you for the IP address or if you're using DDNS or whatever, you need to put that information in there. You can still do that. This will also find online devices. Maybe if you're going to want to change an IP address or something like that, you can do it. Or from the screen, you can add to favorites as well, which we're going to get to in a moment here. So uh, first, I just want to do a scan QR code. I have a doorbell that's sitting here. Once you do that, it's a little bit different than it was before. It says connect to network, and yet it doesn't ask you what kind of device it is yet. Once you click connect to network, then it asks you and it prompts you to put in what kind of device it is. From here, it'll it'll follow the screens that will you know guide you through whether it's a wired or a doorbell or a Wi-Fi device. So uh, when you continue on these screens, I have noticed um especially when you're using the video doorbell that the app stays in better sync with the actual physical doorbell when you're doing the installation uh before i noticed when you did the doorbell sometimes it would get a little bit out of a sync and what i mean by that sometimes the doorbell would look like it's connected but the app would still kind of stay and look like it was going through the motions like it was trying to connect uh but it looks like they've made some enhancements to that and it's they've changed that a little bit so let's back out of there and let's go into the regular, the home page, what I like to call it, the, the landing page here. Uh, I've got these devices in here. Like I said, I've got a couple different NVRs and I've got a standalone camera. Now you can add these and make it look like they're just in your favorite. So it doesn't matter what location these cameras are at, whether it's connected to this NVR or whatever. Uh, for instance, if I wanted to go and say, okay, I want this, this view here, open it up, pop this open, add this to the favorites. I'm just going to say all cams or something. We'll call that. Click OK, and this will add it to it. When I go back out, this will be up at the top of the screen. It'll be added as a favorite. Now, if I go down here, let's just say I want to add one of these other cameras, uh, maybe this back, back, back house thing here. Let's add this one in. Same deal. Now, it says Add to Existing Favorites. You just tap that on the bottom. Now, when I go back out, I should have both of those up at the top. It just makes it a little bit easier to navigate to find your cameras if you're looking to um, especially if you have multiple cameras, like if you're, you know, have different cameras in different locations. So another cool feature that I want to point out before, when you open up one of these cameras in a full screen, you had to go back or you either had to hit the back button or you had to double tap to go back to the previous screen to go open up a different camera. Now you can just scroll through these and it'll stay in the full screen. It just makes it a lot easier, more convenient to, to access all the cameras. So, uh, those are some cool features. Also, they made the login, uh, a little bit easier when you go to create your account, things like that. If I go back again, the pictures and the videos are in the same spot. Um, that's there in case you want to save a video or a picture. Uh, you have the ability to do that, and then you can save or share your videos or whatever you want to do. You know, if you wanted to text them to somebody or uh, maybe to the authorities if you see somebody breaking in or whatnot. So, other than that, we do have features over here on the right hand side of the screen real time viewing. Some of these are carried over from the last previous app. Uh, Let's see, we've got um, the easier scan and configure you, when you just scan the doorbell. Live view, recorded video from Clearview. So what happens is, like I said, you can take snapshots or take clip video clips and save them to your phone. Uh, they made it easier just to navigate around and be able to do those, those things that you could do before. So um, on top of all of that, we do have another release for the Clear Video doorbell, which has some improvements with volume. Um, it's got some other improvements as well, like the synchronization issues. Uh, and just small changes like that. Hopefully it's going to make a better experience for you with that clear video doorbell. That's going to be available shortly. So make sure you keep your eye out for that. If you don't know what it looks like when your clear video doorbell has an update, if you go into the doorbell itself, you click the three dots at the top, just like you see on my screen here, the three dots, 
go in there and it's going to show you a blue dot and you're going to know that there's an update available. It does everything for you, but you do have to initiate it because it's a manual firmware update. Uh, so, but what it does is it pulls that update down to the doorbell so you don't have to pull the doorbell off or reset it or anything like that. It does all the work for you. So just letting you know that that's out there. So that's it for today. I just wanted to put this out here so you guys could see that we do have enhancements to the clear, uh, the clear vision plus app and to the doorbell. So, um, hope you liked the video and we will catch you next time on clear tech Tuesday. Thank you.